Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to CNBC's live stream of the Berkshire Hathaway 2022 annual meeting. I'm Becky Quick, along with Mike Santoli, and we are back in person here in Omaha, Nebraska, for this meeting for the first time since before the pandemic. We are just about 30 minutes away from Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett taking the stage, along with his longtime vice chair, Charlie Munger. This is why people are here today. They've been gathering outside uh, for hours. In fact, people were standing outside in the rain before Absolutely. the doors even Awful opened up weather. this morning. <laughs> 6 a.m. Thousands of people out there. Uh, it's also a pop culture uh, gathering, too. A lot of icons here today, at, at least for us in the world of Absolutely. business. Um, Tim Cook is here. Mm -hmm. And when he walked in out on the floor, it became this swarm scene. He actually went up to the edge because people wanted selfies. Sure. They were all kind of crowding around him. Maybe you could see some of it here. This is when he was walking in. Um, Jamie Dimon is here, J.P. Morgan. Um, and this is the first time Jamie's been to this. Is that right? To this meeting. He's never been before. Wanted to make sure he made it out. He's got a lot of Chase branches around, so he's been here the last couple of days visiting with branches, that doing things. Sense. Um, and Tim Maybe Cook. he'll remind, uh, you know, Warren about, you know, his regret for having not bought J.P. Morgan, as, as Warren has admitted. Right. Um, Tim Cook, obviously here um, for, uh, once again, he was here the last time, three yeah. years ago. Um, he's here because this is a huge holding uh, for, for Berkshire Hathaway. It's his biggest uh, shareholder, I guess, right? It Outside is. Outside shareholder. Outside shareholder, and it's a, about $150 billion investment. Um, it's something that is makes up about 43% of the overall Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, yeah. if you put those things together. Um, other people who are coming in today, too, Dan Gilbert uh, was trying to come in last night from Rocket Companies, got stuck in the weather, which has caught a lot of people up, yeah. uh, but he's on his way here today. And Bobby Kotick of Activision Blizzard, also here. Relatively new holding, I guess, right before the, yeah, you know, Bobby's the whole been story. Yeah, to this for a long time, um, but you know that Berkshire is a shareholder, yeah. you know, uh, Microsoft Activision. is buying the stock, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that, too. We will. All right, well, uh, when Buffett and Munger take the stage, they'll uh, do so following a brutal month for the markets. The worst April for tech stocks since the financial crisis and the worst month for the S&P, down nearly 9% since the start of the COVID crisis. Yesterday, the Dow ended April with a drop of 940 points. Uh, obviously, uh, an interesting setup, to say the least, for, uh, for some of what we're going to learn today from, uh, from Buffett and, and Munger. Uh, still, there, as Becky said, thousands upon thousands of shareholders excited to be here at the CHI Health Center. And as Becky mentioned, the last Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting here in Omaha in person was back in 2019. That's right, Mike. In fact, the, the faithful, the Berkshire faithful, as we call them, are back shopping the Berkshire Hathaway wares here since yesterday. They've been incredibly eager to hear from Buffett himself. He hasn't spoken publicly since last year's meeting, which was held virtually. He hasn't spoken publicly, at least about the markets and what we've seen. And given yesterday's drop in the markets, you can bet there are going to be some questions about uh, what uh, Munger and what Buffett think about what's going to be happening. Uh, the Fed, interest rates, all of these things. Obviously, a lot of interest in his thoughts on Berkshire's recent purchase of 121 million shares of HP for an 11 percent stake in the company. And then there's Berkshire's increased stake in Occidental Petroleum to 136.4 million shares or 13 percent of shares outstanding. We're going to be catching up with Occidental CEO Vicki Hollip later today. We, we've spoken with her. She's here on the floor um, and, and she's been kind of um, you know, the, the, he gave a big vote of confidence Absolutely. in her when he yeah. walked into this. He said he listened to the conference call and um, so she's running the company right, likes yeah. everything she's doing with yeah, it. Yeah, not, not just a pure bet on commodity. It was actually, you know, obviously he says he owned businesses, and that's, that's he holds up. And by the way, it's the best performer in the S&P 500 yes. for the year to date, too. Absolutely. So a good bet on that. Yeah, I mean, and it's going to be great to hear whether they see, okay, values emerging with this, you know, 14% drop in the S&P 500. What, yeah. what have they been doing? Of course, shareholders be waiting to hear more about Berkshire's more than $11 billion acquisition of Allegheny. That's an insurer run by former Gen Re executive, Joseph Brandis, so somebody from within the Berkshire Hathaway family. That deal coming in as Berkshire's largest since 2016 and one of its top 10 deals ever by purchase price. And beyond that, everyone from shareholders to CEOs to just about every investor around the world will be glued to Buffett and Munger's thoughts, again, on the state of these markets, the economy, inflation, all of it. Yeah, it's a busy time. It is. Well, let's give you a quick look at today's schedule. Mike and I are going to be here with you until 10, 15 a.m. Eastern time. That's when Buffett, Munger, and Vice Chairman Greg Abel and Ajit Jain will be taking the stage. You can watch the annual meeting exclusively right here on CNBC.com.